Hi, welcome back to our channel. This is AmeriCorps for you. In today's video, the kids from Pathfinder Summer Camp are taking a tour of the NMSU campus. Where you guys spend your time and, um, and where your futures are and all that stuff, and that's what I like to share with our kids is what you guys are all about. You know, this is your space, your home, where you spend most of your time, I'm assuming. Um, so I really enjoy um, the NMSU day. Before we set out on our tour, it's important that all the kids and the members stretch to get prepared for the long walk that we've got planned for the afternoon. Now that we're all stretched, it's time to head out to our first stop, which will be the engineering department. For this portion of the tour, the kids are taken into the 3D printing lab in the engineering department. Here, they'll learn about 3D printing and also do some fun activities. My name is Veronica, I'm the student director here at the IE Innovation Space. And right here we have Adam. Hello. And I'm a mechanical and aerospace engineering student here at NMSU. I am manufacturing institute at ACC. Just don't that one. Yeah, I think you guys were there not too long ago. So what we do here at the Ag Innovation Space is we make ideas come to life. So if you look at the screen, we do that in a bunch of cool ways. So sometimes we do that with subtractive manufacturing. So who's heard of that? Subtractive manufacturing. So that's where you take a block of material and you take away material slowly until you have a shape and it comes out something like this. So what we're gonna focus on today is additive manufacturing, where you're adding material to space until you make something like this. So if you guys look super, super close, you can see there's a bunch of lines, right? And those are called layers. So 3D printing works. <laughs> So how 3D printing works is it prints one layer of plastic and then it prints another and another and another and another and another and another, and another, and another, and another until you get to a full 3D printed shape. The kids learned all about 3D printing and also got to see all of the machines in action. So if everyone can take a look. This printer Don't right touch here is printing with a flexible material. And it's printing this. Yep, and it's printing this right here. So like you said, we use a computer. After learning about how things that are printed are designed, the kids got the opportunity to use the computer software and create a design of their own. Next, the kids headed over to the lab next door, where they got the chance to make miniature rockets and learn about how rockets work. After the rockets were constructed, it was time to all line up behind the firing line and see if our rockets would fire. Behind the firing line, okay. Can I get a countdown? T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, zero, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1. Woo! Our trip to the engineering department was a lot of fun. The kids had a great experience learning both about 3D printing and about rockets and how they work. Next, it was time to continue our tour through NMSU, making our way all the way up to the duck pond where we would have lunch. 
On our way there, we ended up making two pit stops. The first being seeing the animals at the barn on campus. Our second stop was at the biology department where we got to look at some fossils and also at an aquarium. After the biology department, we continued our way across campus to eventually get to the duck pond. On our way, we saw a statue of Pistol Pete, the local mascot, and decided to take some pics. After lunch, we headed towards the art department. Here, the kids and members got the opportunity to look at multiple art exhibits, as well as tour the labs where students create art. This is an artist who lives in San Antonio, Texas, and um, she has, I see a couple of younger Kids really enjoyed seeing the art exhibits and all the different labs that the artists do their work in. For the last stop on our tour, we headed up to the NMSU bookstore so that we could cool off and wait for parents to pick up their kids. AmeriCorps and FYI would like to thank NMSU for allowing us to take a tour of their campus. If you're new to this channel, please like and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. Thanks!